Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on Dmaps TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're coming here for the first time. If you're regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our videos so that you won't miss any of the videos that we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, yesterday the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, the SEC, posted a notification citing that there was a cancellation of city of Victoria Falls wards 9 and 11 by elections and everyone on the political atmosphere in zimbabwe was wondering what could have necessitated this cancellation of by elections of course yes the by elections were first necessitated when the uh, imposter according to triple c sengezo chavango record uh, councillors in victoria falls but subsequently he blocked those records so the question on everyone's mind now is why did he record them initially to later on unrecord them or block the recalling so the public notice by zek read it is hereby notified that the advertised vacancies for city of victoria falls wards 9 and 11 and the party list pr vacancies are no longer in existence following the rescission of the recall of the incumbents by their sponsoring party Accordingly, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission advises that all electoral processes in relation to the said advertised by elections have been cancelled with immediate effect. So this prompted a discussion on whether or why these uh, by elections had to be cancelled. And I have it on good authority, ladies and gentlemen, that it was... Uh, rescinded just because Sengezo Chavango or the affected uh, councillors and PR representatives pledged their loyalty to Sengezo Chavango. Uh, this is a confirmation sent by someone within the Triple C, and he said, I heard these cancellations were as a result of concerned MPs having negotiated with Chavango and agreed to be under him and Chavangu therefore asked Zek to reinstate them. The truth is, ZANU PF and the Parliament Speaker and Zek are running this show with the help of uh, the imposter Chavangu. So, this is what uh, people are saying. In Victoria Falls, the councillors and the PR representatives they just went and liaised with Chavangu and pledged loyalty to him. And then, the loyalty paid chavangu responded by reinserting them as councillors so the, the other commentators were against uh, this move they just said that this is because mercenaries and their zanpf handlers know that recalls are not justified so you know yes these are just some of the uh, comments of people who are commenting on why what could have caused them to to to, to reverse the records someone said vic force is a hub of western tourists the cancellation is meant to escape the curious the curious tentacles of the western media that could be true ladies and gentlemen maybe they are avoiding the the, the, the bad publicity that could come with recalling of victoria force since it's a tourist destination but what is actually true is that they have joined triple c chavango another commentator just said and the rest of the story the mess was created by chete chete to who neglected political norms for a purely crafted autocracy you guys have been chasing shadows and everything and learned nothing i said it before always blaming zanpf every ccc blunder will make you look not in control yes of course yes there is some level of truth in that assertion to say if triple c continues in, uh, in in its trajectory of always blaming zanupia for all for everything that happens in triple c then it could mean it can only mean one thing i think it started with mdc for everything that happened in mdc uh, the opposition blamed zanu pf so it means that 
since inception, since 1999, when uh, opposition uh, politics became serious in Zimbabwe, the opposition has never been in control. They have never been in control of their affairs. They have never been in control of infiltration. They have never uh, been uh, more powerful than ZANU-PF. It means that ZANU-PF always finds a way to control the opposition. They are not in control. They have not managed to uh, circumvent their party or to ring fence their party. So to always cry out loud and say, ZANU-PF has done this, ZANU-PF will do this, ZANU-PF is doing this, is now becoming a show of saying that the opposition is not in control or is not anyway uh, near control. Because uh, just imagine, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost, if not over, 20 years since opposition, since the MD, since the formation of the MDC. And we have got many lieutenants who are still in the opposition. But although of late some have left the triple C, others went and formed their own parties, and others are still in there with disgruntlement, of course. And a whole lot of things are happening in the opposition. But since then, they still lament, they still cry. Yes, they have gotten the, 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 the yes, they got that tag to say they are just bad cry babies because ladies and gentlemen they seem they, they seem as if they are not finding a lasting solution to dealing with zanu pf it's always crying it's always complaining it's always press conferences always press statements it's always to quit to just cry and complain zanu pf has done this zanu pf has done that zanu pf has done this so the question to all those political uh, opposition lieutenants is until when will you cry and lament over what ZANU-PF is doing? What if ZANU-PF will not reform? Will you just remain in the opposition and cry? Because Jonathan Moy, when he was still with ZANU-PF, said we cannot reform ourselves out of power. So just imagine if that is still the position that ZANU-PF is saying we cannot reform ourselves out of power. Why do electoral reforms? Why do even legal reforms? Why do anything of that sort so that we can lose power and never? What if they maintain that stance? Would that mean the opposition will be in the doldrum for the rest of their lives? Or they will wait maybe for the generation to pass and maybe start a new fight? What way will that uh, take the people of Zimbabwe who are so keen on change? So these are some of the questions that boggles the mind, but there are more questions than answers to this. Anoko Nikanyo Faru, Dinuin, Honorable Madiv.